In this video, I'm gonna be teaching you how to choose what side you pop over to from grinds or slides and how to do double grinds. I'm gonna start by explaining how to choose what side you pop over to. Pretty much works exactly the same as doing it on flat. So if I wanna pop over to the right, I put my back foot in the right pocket and then flick up to go over to the right. Same with popping over to the left, I put my back foot in the left pocket by pushing left and then flick with the other foot. And if you just wanna pop straight ahead, you just push your back foot straight down and then flick up. By default, you usually pop over to the side that you popped in on, but that's actually based on how much weight is on what side. So if I go for this 5-0 here and most of my weight is on the left side, I'm going to pop over to that left side. So if you notice that majority of your weight is on the other side of the rail, you don't have to manually choose to pop over to that side. It'll automatically do it. If I do the 5-0 but most of my weight is on the right side, it'll default to pop over to the right side. So for a blunt slide, if most of my weight is leaning over to the right, I'll pop over to the right. And if most of my weight is kind of like dipped down over to the left, I'll pop over to the left. It takes a little while to learn all the visual cues to know what side you're automatically going to pop out on but there is a way to choose what side that you pop out on no matter what so all my weight is on this side i'm obviously going to pop over to the right but if i wanted to pop over to the left side from a crook i'm going to let go of my input and then re-input to the left with my front foot so while i was in this crook i completely let go of the input and then re-input my front foot over to the left pocket and then flicked my right foot so i can pop over to the left and if you want to pop over to the right side, you just let go, re-input to the right, and then pop out. And if you want to land straight back onto the rail, you just let go of your input, re-input straight up, pop, and then input for your next grind. So while I was in this nose grind, I let go of my inputs mid-grind, and then re-input straight up, and then flick the opposite foot to pop, and then re-input for a backside 5-0. Now, if you're getting this issue right here where your board always flips when you go to pop over, that's because your grind settings are set to trick relative input on, which means to pop out, you need to flick your other stick in the exact opposite direction as your current input. So right now, my current input is straight up. I'm gonna flick straight down to pop out. So for this crook, my stick is gonna be diagonally up to the left and I'm gonna flick my other stick diagonally down to the right. So if I wanna do a nollie heel out of this nose slide, my left stick is all the way to the left. I'm gonna flick my right stick up. And then as you can see here, the moment that I went to go pop out, my weight would kind of like shift it over to the other side and then that's the way it popped out. If you have trick relative input turned off, no matter what your input, you're always gonna flick as if you were on flat. So there's no slide, my left stick is all the way out to the left. I'm just gonna flick down as if it was a nollie on flat. So I'm gonna pop over to the left side of this rail. I'm gonna let go and then re-input and flick down. So with this setting off, no matter what your input is, you're always gonna flick up or down to pop out of your trick. I'm gonna have this on for the rest of the tutorial. If you're doing a grinder slide that requires a double foot input, you have to let go of both sticks at the same time, re-input your popping foot before flicking. You only have to let go of both sticks if you want to choose what side you're popping over to. So if you're in this 50-50 right here and you try to choose your direction and you let go of one stick and then flick it, you're going to obviously flip out. But if you're just aiming to pop out, you just have to let go of one stick and then flick that same stick again. So yeah, choosing what side you pop out on applies to every single grind and slide. So using everything you've learned about popovers, you're gonna apply it to double grinds. If you know what side you're about to pop over to by default based on where your weight is, you can simply just pop straight from your grinder slide into the next one without manually choosing the direction. So I already explained how to pop straight back onto a rail. However, if you skip that part, which I recommend you don't skip the first half of the video because you're gonna need to know how to choose what side you pop over to. So to do something like a back 5 out of back nose grind, I'm gonna let go of my input, re-input straight down and then pop and then input for my nose grind. So a little breakdown of what I just did. I let go of my input completely and then re-input straight down to let the game know I want to pop back onto the ledge. And then I flicked, popped, and then landed in the nose grind. So I input up on the front foot and then I just popped out at the end. To get something like a 5-0 to nose slide, I know that I'm gonna have to pop over to the right side. Oh, geez. So while in the 5-0, I'm gonna let go completely and then re-input over to the side. Oh, I got the crook accidentally. So mid 5-0, let go of the input, re-input to the right, pop or flick, and then enter for the nose slide. But like I mentioned before, if you know what side you're about to pop on based on your weight, you can just get into your next trick without having to manually choose what side you pop over to. Doing this extra input just guarantees what side you pop over to. So you can always get the trick that you actually intend. And you don't have to do full pops to get out of these either. So if I wanted to do a nose slide to crook, 
like that. Instead of doing a full pop that brings my wheels all the way over the ledge, I did a low pop and it barely brought over my wheel just enough to get into that crook. And the way that you do low pop is you flick the other stick in the exact same direction that you're holding. So full pop is exact opposite and then low pop is the exact same direction. So that's exactly what I did here. I let go of my input and then re-input my stick straight up and then flicked my opposite stick in the exact same direction, used my trigger and then I turned slightly into the crook. Doing something like a tail slide to no slide, you're gonna wanna re-enter the stick straight down so you land back on the ledge. And then obviously you have to use your triggers to turn your body to get all the way around back into the no slide and then you re-input for the no slide. And always remember, you can boost the pop height out of grinds if you go to your advanced settings. For this video, it was on default the entire time, but if we go to custom, let's change grind pop height all the way to the, the max. So now when I pop out of grinds, I can pop a lot higher into my next trick makes things a little bit easier sometimes. So just take everything that you learned from this video and how the mechanics work and just uh, mess around with some tricks. Because it's not just limited to two, you can get as many grinds or slides as you want in a row as long as you have like the space and the timing. So just get creative with it, figure out what works and uh, what doesn't work. All right, that is gonna do it for this tutorial on how to decide which side you pop over like that and how to do double grind like that. Don't forget to hit that like button on your way out and check out some of the other tutorials that I have on session in this playlist and I will catch you there.